Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. May 16th is filing deadline for many tax exempt organizations. IR 2022 93, April 21st, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today reminded tax exempt organizations that many have a filing deadline of May 16th, 2022. So just because you're tax exempt doesn't mean we're not looking over your shoulder. That's what the IRS is saying here. You got a deadline maybe of doing stuff May 16th, 2022. Those that operate on a calendar year CY basis have certain annual information and tax returns they file with the IRS. These returns are the Form 990 series, annual information returns, that's the Form 990, 990EZ, or the 990PF. You got the Form 990N, that's the electronic notice, e-postcard for tax-exempt organizations not required to file Form 990 or Form 990EZ. Form 990T, exempt organization business income tax return other than certain trusts. And we have Form 4720, return of certain excise taxes under Chapter 41 and 42 of the Internal Revenue Code. Mandatory electronic filing. Electronic filing provides fast acknowledgement that the IRS has received the return and reduces processing time, making compliance with reporting requirements easier. Organizations filing a Form 990-990-EZ, 990-PF, or 990-T for calendar year CY 2021 must file their returns electronically. It's a requirement now. They need the electronic filing. Uh, private foundations filing a Form 4720 for uh, calendar year CY 2021 must file file the form electronically. Charities and other tax-exempt organizations can file these forms electronically through an IRS-authorized e-file provider. We have organizations eligible to submit Form 990-N must do so electronically and can submit it through Form 990-N e-postcard on irs.gov. There's a link to that here. Quote, to help exempt organizations comply with their filing requirements, the IRS provides a series of pre-recorded online workshops. The end quote. There's a link to those online workshops here, so you can check that out if you so choose. That was said by Robert Mellon. I hope I, I might not have said that right, but that's what I that's what I'm saying it. I apologize if it's wrong. Exempt organizations and government entities director. Quote. Uh, these workshop shops are designed to assist office officers, board members, and volunteers with the steps they need to take to maintain their tax-exempt status, including filing annual information returns, end quote. Common errors. These are the common errors, common mistakes here. The IRS also reminds organizations to submit and complete accurate returns. If an organization's return is incomplete or the wrong return for the organization, the return will be rejected. Rejected. Talk to the hand, says the IRS, and then they spit the return back out at you, right at your face. Common errors include missing or incomplete schedule. So you can take a, you can link up to this common errors thing and, uh, and you can possibly see more information on them. Extensions of time to file tax exempt organizations that need additional time to file beyond the May 16th deadline can request a six month automatic extension by filing form 8868 application for extension of time to file an extension an exempt organization return. There's a link to that here. So if you're going, I don't have the information. I don't know what to do. It's too soon. Help. And then maybe you could do an extension. So check that out. In situations where tax is due, uh, extending the time for filing a return does not extend the time for paying taxes. So we got that same kind of setup, that same kind of scenario, meaning there's two deadlines, one being the filing deadline two, the payment deadline. If you owe anything, even though you're an exempt organization, if you owe something, they want their money, even if you don't file the tax return, which is often confusing because you might be saying, I don't know how much I owe you until I file the tax return, because that's the thing that's going to help me to determine how much I owe you. But they still want their money or else they hit you with the sticks penalties and interest we know those sticks we know we know their sticks it's like it's like the well-known weapons of the IRS metaphorical and in, interest and penalty sticks so you got to make an estimate you got to make the payments even if you're going on extension the IRS encourages organizations requesting an extension to electronically file form 8868 there's a link to the electronically filed stuff here and there's a link to a bunch of other stuff that we just talked about 
and there'll be a link to this in the description.